Hello and welcome Scorpio to your August 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. This month I have a guest. My guest this month is Claire Corbett. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford where I will be giving a two-day workshop in November. So go and check out her Facebook page so you can see what, what she has going on there um, and when that workshop is. Um, yay! In any case, what we do here, Scorpios, we will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for your very sign before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or healing that needs to happen. And then lastly, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. So, are you ready, Scorpios? Here we go. Here's the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for your very sign. Remember, this is a general reading, so you take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Okay, so it looks like um, that we're needing to... Uh, needing? Yeah. Needing? <laughs> <laughs> to balance. Um, <laughs> lots of balancing. I feel like we're, we're trying to balance things um, that's going on at the moment. Um, and to to help to do that, you need to go heart centered. Bring in the love, bring in the unconditional love for self. Do some self care um, and, and release some of that baggage that that's not yours. I feel that it's you're holding stuff that's not even yours. So acknowledge what that is, release that off, and then that's going to start bringing the balance in for you. But it's all going to come from heart base. So the more heart based you are, the more grounded. The more balance will come in for you. Thank you so much. And remember, Scorpios, you are a good sign. You are good people. The issue that Scorpio has, because the idea is that you choose when you are being born. So you choose to be Scorpio, which gives you a lot of strength. But the Scorpio and the constellation is depicted by a scorpion. The scorpion is the animal, that animal on this planet, that has the biggest fight or flight response to everything. So you either bolt or you kick someone's head in. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, so overreacting or hiding is in your imprint, if that makes sense. Hence, being heart-based, being, yeah, I, I feel it here, I sit with it, is what is always advisable, not just in August, but obviously is needed, which is why the guides said needed. When the guides, my experience at least with my guides, when they say need, it means you have free will, so they should say ought, or to. But if they say need, they are trying to be pushy on your behalf so you get it, right? So it's not a negative word as such. So let's look at your emotional core. There's another important thing here. We're in the eighth month and you have the, the term opposition, confrontation on the outgoing energy which has the number 53, 5 and 3 is 8. In August, while you maybe need to oppose a partner or need to oppose how you manifest a new relationship, if that's what you're, what you're after, you will not find it super easy this month to sort stuff because you're in that part of Scorpio that is the more confrontational part. Now, here's another truth about the scorpion. You are depicted by a scorpion, which means you carry the energy of that being. Here's the trick for Scorpios. Always has been, just when it comes to your emotions, it's something you should live by. Should, ought, need, must. You take it the way it resonates. The taller the scorpion, the less venom it possesses. Obviously, the taller the scorpion, the larger the pins are, the less venom it needs. Therefore, when you speak up early, you're tall. You are diminished, you're small, you carry a lot of venom that you also use against yourself. Your job is, hence the confrontation, to be outspoken without using venom. Really, really important. It is because you're frustrated that you then fight dirty, if that makes sense, right? So there's always this thing, I'm not saying you do this, right? Don't, don't shoot a messenger, but it is in your Scorpio imprint. Once you have had enough, 
we better all start running, right? So, so once you lose your cool, that's bloody it. And the point here is to learn, to understand, yes, I have that energy in, inside me. Once you, 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 you um, taunted me enough, I will go for you. By default, not one sentient being on the planet, especially when it comes to our animal kin, who are much more uh, intelligent than we are, always have been, we are just children bouncing about. <laughs> no animal wastes energy at all. So ask yourself, if I rip your head off because you're just not listening to me, is that really worth my time? Is that worth losing the cool over? Maybe that is something you need to then look at, confront to see if it can be fixed, right? So again, it doesn't look as though you can expect a super harmonious month, but what they're asking you is, be, is instead of being this out there person, if that makes sense. Again, we have this heart-based energy. Um, step back a little. Think about what it is you want to say and reflect on how you're planning to say it. Step back a little before you act. Right? That is the energy uh, for your emotional core for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Scorpio. Now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August. Now remember, this is August. We have two supermoons in August, so every sign is affected uh, emotionally quite a bit. Hence, there is a um, full moon reading on this channel that deals with um, the energies that are in August. And because we're in, uh, in supermoon energy, um, there is also a love life reading for each sign timestamped on this channel. So here they touched on it. On the Love Life reading, it's a bit more direct, if that makes sense. So after you're done here, come on, go bloody watch it. That's why we're recording it for us, right? Anyway, let's look at the opportunities as the present says to you in the month of August 2023. Okay, so um, all that's coming through uh, for this at the moment is it's very much about going in. So I think it's a month for go into self um, and focus. Uh, Two different card decks here are both about detoxing um, and that could be emotions that could be um, health wise um, and but it, there's a lot of repairing and replenishing to be done um, and a lot of uh, radical acceptance this is accepting who you are and um, is what's coming out on here and focusing on you is, is what I'm getting for, for August for you Thank you so much. Thank you. That's all we got time for. Again, please like, subscribe and share just to keep the, uh, this, the, the, the channel afloat. Right? Thank you for hanging out with us. See you next month. Bye-bye.